The purpose of this video is to remind you how we can access the research tools in a Google Doc and then find good information through the research and then cite that information as we organize our information into an outline. And what I want to see on Wednesday is that you've got at least two of the four main sections of your outline complete. And remember, the four main sections are the background, cultural information, environmental health information, and economic information. So here you can see I've got my research paper with more notes on this neem tree that I'm researching. To get to the research bar, we're going to go up to tools and we're going to select research. It pops up on the right hand side. I can type in then what I'm looking for, neem tree for example, and then I'll see all of these results that show up here. I scroll down through the results. They're looking pretty good. I can see uh, all the pages that they're from. Ooh, there's a good one. It ends in .edu. Then I can click on a result if I want to find out more information about it and it'll pop up in a new window. Here it comes and if I scroll to the bottom of this page I see some pretty good information at least about my neem tree. They talk about how the Sahara Desert is advancing but reforestation efforts have been helped by planting neem trees there. That's a good detail. I'm going to include that in my research and thus I've typed in this sentence here about why neem are useful in drought prone areas and that they're being planted along the edge of the Sahara Desert and then I can go hover over this page where I got the information, this link I should say, and click cite and when I do that number seven shows up and it'll be at the bottom of the page here as the last source cited. Now I've got some good information I've got to put it into my outline. So here is the outline that we started in class. Background information, use a complete sentence and then info about name and then geography. There may be more scientific info I want to include as well as cultural and environmental and economic. I just want to show you how we'll convert these reminders like background information into a good sentence. So I found a sentence that talked about the tree. Here's the one that I liked and it was this one about how uh, the tree is so useful that people call it the village pharmacy. I think that's going to be a good introductory sentence to my paper. I'm going to go here for background info and I'm going to replace that with the sentence that I got. Now, as it turns out, I've got two sentences and the first two sentences of my paper are already written. Then I'll get information about the name. I've already got some information about the common name. I'll have to look up more information about the scientific name. But as you find these details, make sure you put them in your outline in one or two complete sentences. I can't emphasize that enough. It's critical and it's one of the points that you'll get graded on when you turn in these outlines on Friday. So continue with your research, typing up your sentences. Make sure as you're looking for details that'll support some sort of scientific research. We want to find data. We want to find facts. We want to find numbers, percentages, dates, etc. And that is the sort of information that'll really help us build a concrete and solid research paper. If you have any questions, send me a note. Otherwise, I'll see you on Friday. Sorry, I'll see you on Wednesday.